Hello, I am live. <laughs> you can read that. Two seconds while I sort myself out. Hello, I am Emma from Emma's Happy Place Arts and Crafts. And I have designed art and craft supplies for about five years. I think it's going to be five years for the next five years. That's all I'm going to say, isn't it? Um, <laughs> but yes, I have a website where you can get all my paper kits and it's emmashappyplace.co.uk. And yes, go and have a gander, see what you can see. I'm just finding myself, you know, so bear with. Hi, Jane. Hi, Sheila. Hi, Val. Hi, de hi. Oh, bear with. Um, why can I never ever find the app? You would think I was looking for, I think I move it every time, you know. So tonight we are making um if you wouldn't mind liking and sharing the live that that's that's a good start i am on facebook and i am on youtube as well i just want that there just want to see any extra comments right first off i've got this on the website this is what we're going to be using it is a massive double don't tear it emma it's double side it's like newspaper print a vintage paper, I can't remember, I think it's four sheets, it's absolutely huge, um, the measurements are on there. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, look what I've been painting. Oh, they're so cute. Um, so they're still drying, I'll put them up there. And the third thing is, I have, can you remember when I used the butterfly mask? And everybody wanted to know where I got it from, and I was like, I've had it ages, I can't even remember. Look what I've managed to get. So I've I've bought all the ones that were there and they are on the website now. So this is what I did, the gloss through and the balls. It's very, very similar. I think the butterfly is slightly different, but they're on the website. And then we are going to make a folder to keep all our infirmary in that we'll have. And I've got A5 binders, binders like that the really good quality ones but i haven't actually tried them yet so i want to try them now before i pop them on the website as well oh you might not even want them on so i think we're gonna go with because this is nine inches ish and this is grey board. I can put this on like a set to make a folder thing if you want them. If not, it really doesn't matter. I haven't got loads of them. I just got some just, you know. So I'm thinking if we cut this way first and we'll go nine and a half. So nine and a half. And then really this, we could go seven. Yeah, seven. We'll stick with seven. Out. And then nine and a half again on a second one. So they, all this here is, it's like grey board. It's like picture framing board. Nine and a half. By seven. Did I say that right or am I cutting them wrong sizes? Hi, Maureen. Right, are they the same size? It's not really good because I haven't got much space between. I've literally got like that much space between the camera and the thingy. And then I need, I'm thinking about an inch for the spine. So nine and a half. By. Close that now. By an inch. Is the light all right and everything? Yeah, we'll go an inch why not and then we're going to put this together and we'll see what happens loving the nails i snapped one and to be honest i'm like not very girly at all i snapped that one half of them i think it off and then i burnt myself so yes so what i'm going to do <laughs> i'm good 
So I'm using this mat. I've got a new clean mat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to work it so this has got a gap in between. So I think, just double check, that's going to fit in there perfect. And we're going to use this paper, this double-sided paper, to cover it. So this is a different way of doing the um, spine. You know how I did the other day? We could do it the same as that, but I thought I would show the other way as well. So this paper is massive. And I want to check how much we're going to... Right, so we're going to need more than half of it that way. So what I'm thinking is... If I turn it... Because we need it bigger than nine. So... If we say it about there, that's going to be long enough. And then we can still use all this bottom bit for pages or whatever. Let's grab some scissors. I maybe should have had this already cut down, but you know how prepared I am. So even if we end up wonky, I'm honestly, I'm not going to fight this because any of this bit here can be used for anything else. I'm just reading it. I don't know what it's about. Pick of the day. Oh, I don't know what it is. I think it's just random stuff. Does anybody else read it? That's intended for publication should be addressed to. I think it's just random, random newspaper. <laughs> and then we won't need the full length of it. Full. What I'm thinking is, and I know it's dangerous when I start the thing, but we trim it off at the end when we work out how much we don't need it. Can everybody see all right? So I'm going to stick this one down first with wet glue. There really isn't much space this is under the camera to make a big fire. We'll get the gist of it anyway. Once this bit's done and it's folded down, it'll be easy peasy. I'm going to tip some of this out. It's just PVA glue. This is a tonic one. I got it when it was on offer and a brush use your old brushes when you're using glue and i want it all over the back um the paper is i think it's possibly only about 100 gsm it's really nice paper but i would reinforce the one of my the words i'm looking for what are they reinforce the spiny bit which i'll show you Right, so I've got far too much glue on there. I will take this one and glue this one as well. So if at the end of this you do decide that you want to make a file, I can add the card and the whatever it's called, the file thing. All the all the technical stuff, the file thing to the website. But just let us know. I wasn't sure if anybody would be keen or not. Right, so that is going to go there. Stick that down. And then the spine, what you want to do is you want to leave a gap. So these bits here that you've already cut off, if you double them up like that and put it in between, that should be enough to kind of leave enough space so it's not going to tear the paper. And then you just thing you by eye to there. Hi Caroline. It's a tinchy screen, is it? It's a tinchy because the camera's weird. I don't know how to change it. Now you can guarantee if I come on and I turn it that way around, it'll all go wrong. So I, I dare not touch anything. Next one. Move along to the back. And again, glue all over. And this is going to be sort of folded over at the edges and things so it will be totally stuck get the glue off don't waste any we'll glue it down your gel medium would be good for this as well i've just got pv next to us so this is an alternative even though i said the other day i prefer that for the books and things i'm thinking for a file this way might be better but we'll soon find out you can always do it the other way, where you find the spine first. 
I just want to give options, lots of options. All right. Right. Pop that in there and oh, that's everything. Oh, we're ready. So again, it doesn't matter about the colours either. And you want this so it's straight. I mean, a couple of millimetres won't matter, but just so it's straight along the top here. Hi, Marie. And then we'll trim some of this off and we might have more space then. Like I say, I thought these papers here would be great. You know, if you're making your books, there could be pages inside of your books. There could be, there could be many, many things. Pages, you could make envelopes with them. They're just very nice papers. Right, and then what I'm going to do is get a different brush that isn't covered in glue. Which one? Which one? It's pot, but it's hard to choose a brush. And then on these corners, I'm going to glue here. And this is a good way of getting them nice and neat. And then just fold that up. And this bit here will hide a multitude of sins. Now, in the kit with the dangles and things, you get um, some metal corners, which will stop them getting dog eaten and curled up so they'll go on the corners here which i will show if we ever get to the end of i don't knock everything over how's the watching experience <laughs> and then on this corner can everybody say okay i was really really bad should i have made a tiny one and fold that one over and glue it and then before we go on the next one we can Fold this one in and then that's out the way at least. So now I'll put a little bit under there just to stick. How's it looking? Is it terrible or is it all right? So I do understand I haven't got much. I do need to fiddle with it and see if I can work out how to get more of the desk in for bigger projects. And then I'll fold that one in and that's that side done. And then over to this one. Let me see. And then again with the glue here. And this, it just hides a multitude of sins. And it stops you getting any shown corners. You know, when the card peeps through when you're making the books and things. And then over to this one. And again, we'll hide loads and loads. We'll hide any we'll hide anywhere. I'm sorry, paintbrush in my mouth. And then again. One day, you know, you'll come on and I'll have everything perfect. I'll have worked out how to have the screen bigger. I'll have worked out how to have the whole desk on camera. I'll even be tidy so I can move. It's all good as a try. You're getting an array view. And then we'll turn it around to the bottom one here. And do exactly the same with the glue and turn it up. So I'll do this as quickly as I can. Oh. And then we'll pop in the binding clip. Now the binding clip, I want to check them first before I even thought about putting adding them to the website because it's come. And I thought it was going to come with um the what do you call them? The Brad type clips, but it's come with a different kind of clip. So we're gonna to have to work out that first just to check that it's doesn't need a special kind of machine or anything i don't think it will i think from what i can see it's really easy bullsh so any little bits that you've missed just pop a little bit of glue in and everything else will be covered inside the book so you won't have to worry at all about any bit shown this is just the bit 
where you need the full book. There we go. So there is the full file done there. I have made a massive one of these. It's bigger than A4 and it is behind us, which I'm going to grab. Not that I think you'll be able to see it, mind. Looking ash. And what I've got inside of it is the Dawn Bibby. I think the made for dyes. Hang on, I'll show you it. And I've used the same paper. This is just one sheet of the paper and it's absolutely huge. But inside, I start adding lace to it. It's the Dawn Bibby plastic files. And I did manage to find some on Amazon, the plastic files for the smaller one. So that should be quite nice. And then just grab from behind me this because yeah we'll go with that we'll have two separate ones so we'll trim it down the papers and these are the papers from emma's happy place kids and we're going to have two different color ones on the inside to decorate it trim them down to i don't know what yet Hi, Dominique. Has everybody had a nice couple of days? Trim this bit off. And then we'll see what size we need them. So I'm thinking to cover everything about... So to cover everything about here, I'm just sort of... Leaving a little border so I can see some of the vintage paper, but then I'm covering it. It's probably going to take two sheets to cover it all. So I've made a little nick. You can measure it, however. It is easy enough to measure it to whatever size. Because these can be any size that you want, really. But it will be like that. And they will overlap a little bit, but at least it covers the whole thing. Oh, we'll start off on this side that you can see. So this is going to cover and meet in the middle. Like that. And then on the back and inside you can make um, little folders and all sorts. Oh, switch to a runnier glue. And the main thing about this one is getting it in all the little corners. All over. So whilst this isn't very exciting, once this is done, you're going to have somewhere to keep all your little bits, all your stickers, all your fussy cut bits that you've cut out from the kits, anything that you colour, all kinds of stuff. And, you just, I mean, you can just buy one, but make them one yourself, I would imagine. I find it more satisfying. What do you think? No, the rain is freezing. Actually, I wonder if I can lift it up a little bit. And we'll see a little bit better there, or am I just tiny now? And we'll turn it around. And pop this one in. Yeah, it's been really, really cold here. I've um, looked at the weather, because on my gas and electric app, and Sunday was minus five at its lowest. And today it's shown it was minus three. It is brass monkeys out there. It's very tiny, is it? I'll do this bit and then I'll put it in. I need a magnifying glass to see what I'm doing. Right. And we'll put that in. It will overlap in the middle a bit, but that's absolutely fine. And to be fair, I'm not even that fussed. So this here will reinforce these bits. But you can, again, add in the fabric tape I was talking about. But there we go. That is the file done. I'll move you in a little bit. I'll try and shine the light a bit better. See what we can see. But that is the bones of it now. That is it done. All we need to do is make sure that's stuck down, Emma. Didn't take very much glue there, did you? 
being stingy on the glue. Now to add the binder clip. Now I've worked out, I've already done this. So it's nine inches. So I've folded an inch for the spine. This, and then I folded it into four. And then I just folded it in half and kept on folding it out. And then marked where the two little things were just by putting that. So directly in the middle, this is half an inch. And then all I did was pop it in the middle to the very end. And then I marked where I want to put the things. <sighs> Minus five is horrible. So obviously this is a bit longer, but you can kind of eyeball it where it's going to be. I mean, you can measure it if you want, but I'm absolutely not. So as long as you've got the spine there and there. So it's right in the middle of the spine. And then I'm thinking... I'm just going to poke a hole like that. You will need a hole punch for this or a screwdriver to get the hole to go totally through. So I'm going to poke a hole with this. But if you've got a... I imagine everybody's got a porky tool and then put a screwdriver through to make it even thicker. Now, this is what I'm talking about with these. See that bit there on here? You're going to need quite a big hole for that to fit through. And then the clips it came with are... Let's get them. Because I did, I bought a bag full of these thinking, like a massive bag full thinking that would go on the website, but I'm not going to put them on if we can't work them. So this is what they came with. And my guess is they go in there and then you push it down and it stays. Or maybe it's that way. Should we try it? If not, we will use the brads. So I'm going to attempt to use this. But I don't think this will be even wide enough. And this is the crocodile. Turn around. Does no if you watch back later, does it fill the screen then? Is it bigger on Facebook or I don't quite understand it. Nah, it's gonna to need to be bigger, isn't it? What can we use? that going to go through? I don't think it is. How big is it going to need to be? The other one, just it didn't have this bit on. No, the big one. This one just came with the holes like that. And I'm not sure if it's got something to do with the size. And then you just put your clip through and it stayed, which is what I thought these ones were. So I don't think we'll be getting these on the website, but I can look for other ones. Right the way through. Nice big holes. <laughs> we'll have to budge it. Yeah, I don't think these will go on the website. I'm thinking these ones are for a special machine. But I will not be defeated. And you can get them on Amazon as well, different ones. Just bear with. Do you know what? I'm not using them. I am going to use where they're at. I am going to use where are they? Oh, there they are. These. And then I think it'll leave a nice finish on the inside. And what we can do is we can glue it down as well with a bit of silicon or... Yes, that's what we're going with. 
So I needn't have poked those big holes, but we are now going to glue it on with a little bit of gel medium. And I'm not going to worry about it. And I'm going to make a lot of files because I've got about 50 of them. <laughs> Where's my gel medium? We'll just use this. Let's glue it down, glue around there. And down here. And then we're going to use the brads. And then what we'll do is we'll just cover the spine with some lace or something. No problem at all. It's there forever and ever. And I don't think this is going to work. Oh, it is. No, it's not. They're not long enough now. Bear with, we do need to force them through. Or we can just move on to the big one and decorate it and colour in and just forget this episode ever happened. How big is it going to need to be? I need a bigger, I need a bigger thingy. Right. We might actually work out how to do it as well. Or so we're back to budget with Emma. You can't find us on Facebook. In the Happy Place group. I don't think it's been shared to any of the groups. So it'll be on the Happy Place page. That's not going to go through. Right. So that is the bones of it. I will come back and do that. I'm not going to do it now because it's just painful. And we are going to move on to what I was doing next with this one. We're going to decorate the front of this. So what I've done so far is I've glued burlap on from the texture kit and some lace on the front and went around with the stencil. We are then going to throw that away and give up completely because I'm not happy with them at all. And we're going to bring this in. So I want some watercolour card, which I do have here. And then, because this is six by six, we're going to draw around it in, what are we going to do? I'll draw around it after, we'll ink through it first. So I've got some red and I've got some brown and some orange i'm going to send those back <laughs> i'm really annoyed with them oh start off with the brown and we'll go in here and here again we are going to cut this out I'm not bothered about the I-10I I because we're not going to need that bit. And to be honest, we'll probably not need the middle bit either, but go into the red and then swap over. And into the orange. That blends in with the red. So we didn't make a file tonight, even though we did. Hi, Brenda. Oh, you've just missed all the fun of something not working and me being annoyed. There we go. But isn't that fantastic? Look at that. So that is on the website already because I did test this one. And then what I want to do is draw around that and cut it out and then can you remember the girls from the very first kit that we did we are going to give her butterfly wings and this you can um ink through it you can do pretty much anything so i'm going to take an alcohol pen or you can take a fine liner if you want and i just want to draw around it so it's a little bit sketchy and you don't have to if you don't want to you could actually colour all the white in black as well. But, again, I think it might be quite nice left. Uh, 
and all the way around. You can leave the stencil on if you want it to be neat. All the way around. And I think, you know, I think that might be it. I think I might leave the inside. Do you think it looks all right like that? We can always come back to it. So I'm going to quickly cut this out. Again, don't overthink it. Just it's quite a simple shape. The butterfly is fabulous. And I used it a while back. But I used one similar and I couldn't remember where I got it from. And I found these ones and grabbed them straight away because I had so many messages asking us about it. Oh. Again, we don't need the eye ten eyes, so we can easily just cut them off and go up and around. It's a beautiful big butterfly, absolutely stunning. And it's just, it's a stock image, so you might see it in other places or a similar, very similar butterfly, but I can't find the one I got. I've had it about two years now. So it's maybe it's gone out of stock and vanished and, you know. There we go. And I'm not even bothered about his tail, so we're going to cut that off as well. We'll not make anything hard. Not like that file. And this is going to sit in the... Maybe it's even further down. We could have it further down here. And then... I'm going to bring in one of the girls. I do have them behind me. Let's grab it. Oh, there's so I find the one I want. Because I found some alcohol inks. You know how we're talking about, and I'd said, um, about the alcohol inks and really not having a clue about the colours and things. Well, I did get some in the... We'll use her in the black friday sale and they are crafters companion ones but my guess is i can refer to them all the time because obviously crafters companion are a big company that always going to be about oh, just find them where is it and you can get them in a tan a light tan a dark you can actually just get a skin tone set so I'm thinking that's a coral blend and where's the rest of the mash? Bear with, I'm coming back. So under here. So what I got was this box here and it's it's got 24 pieces in but in each pin there is three different colours so you've already got your light, your medium, your dark. I did pop a video up on Facebook of it. And you can get them in brush format and where's my tan blend? Sorry, I'm just looking. So you can get them in brush format and like this format. Hang on, I'll show you. It's easy just to show you. Then try and waffle. So this one is like your bullet point end. And then these ones are your brushes. Now, I quite like the brushes, but obviously it really doesn't matter. I'll just check. So it starts off with light, medium and dark in all three pens. And they're so easy to work with because the three colours are already there. That match perfect. But obviously you can bring in other kinds. But for your skin tone, there is a skin, like a portrait set there which is just skin tones and you get, I think it's six different ones with three colours in each. But if you've already got alcohol pens, then you just pick out which ones are skin tones for you. So all over with the lightest colour, starting with our face, but can always go back and do our neck in a second. And then you go in with the medium and add in where there's going to be shade and things. Don't worry about eyes, it needs to go back in with the white and fix that. So coming down from there around here and then you go back in with your light and working on a bit of paper as well allows alcoholing to soak into it so it's not going to be um it's not going to damage anything underneath then in with your dark 
And this one is a fair skin set. It is a tan one, which is slightly darker. And if you work with your darkest from your light and then your two light and your medium from the tan, you get a totally different look as well. A little bit here around our nose. And then back in with your lightest. And it will all blend once the alcohol sort of evaporates. And it will all blend totally perfect. And you're not... You can even just buy one pen, I think. I think they sell them separately. Does anybody else know? It really is. I've seen them before on Crafters Companion, but because I'm not really an alcohol ink, like marker colorist, I've always been a bit like, hmm, do I need them? But I think I do. I think I've needed them for a long time. I'm going to go back in with the medium and just bring it down a little bit further. And then just go back in with the light. Just to blend it in again. Just read what you're doing because as many there's a few times I've turned it around too many times and ended up going all over with the dark and having to totally change your skin tone. But there is a coral blend as well, which I like for a blusher. So I went in with the light for a blusher and then I went over with the medium. And then I went back over with the light. And then I went in with the medium from the skin tone again, where I've already went in with the medium. And then I went over again with the light. And it's just a case of going back and forth. And then let it evaporate and you'll see completely how much it changes in any lines that are gone. So we'll do our neck quickly. So light. The medium will come down quite far on our neck because it's all around our hair. And then the dark again will come down where our hair is, under our chin. And down. If you look in the mirror, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about when you see, see it's coming like it's darker here and lighter here. That's light. And go back over our cheeks. Just to blend that out a little bit more. And when you, you can get a blender pen as well in alcohol inks, that, what happens is with the lighter colours, it is pushing the darker through. You're about to fall asleep. I'm so sorry, Brenda. I'm not very uh, exciting tonight after fighting with the thing. So what it's doing is the nature of alcohol inks, it pushes through the paper and it pushes the pigment through. So if you go too dark you can just go in with the lighter and it will push the pigment through and that's how it blends and i will go in with the coral and the light for our lips and then the medium taking it in a bit further just leaving a tiny little bit of the lightest and then the darker and it's just the same i mean i only paid 30 29.99 for all of the pens that I got in that box because they've got um, like a warehouse sale. So I'm hoping these will always be ready available. So I'm going to look. Doesn't it look really cool? I'm well impressed with that. What colour hair are we going to give it? Should we give it purple hair? Maybe it's not purple. What colour hair should we give it? They are really good for shaving really really good i'm well impressed where did i put the box not me <laughs> ginger hair blue hair ginger hair no i'm only joking brenda i'm only joking things go wrong honestly i hadn't even tested them it was uh i'm only joking i knew it was going to be hit or miss Right, so I've got the earth brown for our eyes. And what are we up to? Ginger, blue. Anybody else want to make a tiebreaker here? Blue, ginger, brown. But that's that's not help at all. There's three different ones. Help me. I'm waiting for a tiebreaker. Oh, there's my tan blend. 
course it is. So it could have went even more shade around their face and things, which I will go into at some point. Gold. Oh, gold yellow blend with some brown and probably some orange. Then we'll cover on all bases. Um, should we give her blue eyes? <laughs> we'll give her blue eyes. That's a good idea. Have I got a blue? True blue blend. I'm well impressed with these. I've done. I've never done so much alcohol in colouring. Because honestly, I had those ones that I got um, from Stamps By Me. And I love them. The Maya ones. But they ran out. I used them that much. And then, obviously, they weren't in stock anymore to replace them. So I'm thinking that... Because, I mean, they were a bargain anyway, weren't they? I'm thinking that was Crafters Companion. They're a big company. You're always going to be able to either get the refills for them or you can actually just replace one pen at a time. This is what I'm thinking of. And then we've got gold yellow blend. We've got some brown. And we'll see from there. So I'll start off with the medium from the gold blend. Oh, she's going to match the butterfly. So we'll go all over with it. That's why this is why I like the brush pens, you know, because they cover a big area quick. The pointed ones, the bullet ends, the good. And obviously I've used them before, but I do like a brush pen. And I know the Copics have got a brush pen because I have got a couple of Copics that I've getting sort of at random. You know, when I was saying I've never really got a full set of anything, it's kind of always random. And you can use these in with them as well. But I was just thinking of these. Just so I had something to recommend because there's no time soon. I'm just I'm just teeny tiny. I'm going to be able to get alcohol inks and things on the website. It might be five years before we get there. But in the meantime... Oh, we'll go in with the medium and then the darkest and all i'm doing is following the hair the lines oh i'm so sorry if nobody likes that noise i'm going like that because the hair is always loads of different colors do you know what it is this brings me so much pleasure doing the girls I feel like i'm hairdressing again and we'll go in with the medium from the brown and give us some darker and obviously under here is going to be darker so you can go in quite a bit because if you look at your hair underneath it's always darker where the sun lightens the top here mostly because by well, the sun's on it it's sun bleach doesn't it the light outside because it's sun the lights on it but as well you'll probably notice that the ends of your hair is completely different because of it's longer it's weather worn especially if you've got long hair mine's always really fuzzy and matted on the ends and it's because it's weather worn it's sun bleached it's yeah so it's probably if you've got your natural colors probably darker at the ends darker underneath here and then quite light on the top not noticeable enough to make people go oh my hair is really strange but Like a hairdresser will see it in a second. So I've gone in with the darker yellow again, and I will go in with the lightest just to blend it all together. I know I went in with the medium, but the yellow will catch it. Any little bits that I've missed, and we'll blend all the colours together. And then I will go in with the white pen still because I can't not. And we'll go from there. You've gone back to your pro markers. See, years ago, before I moved, God, how old's Christopher? 14. I had loads of pro markers. Not a full set, of course not, because that would actually mean committing to something. But I had loads of them. And when I moved house, I literally couldn't have my craft stuff out anyway for so long. And I sold them. I sold them on eBay. 
And you know when you, I wish, you know when you wish you didn't do something. That's what it was like. Because I saw quite a few tools and things like that that I couldn't store anyway. And I knew if I put them in the shed, they would just end up knackered. So I'm going to go in with a light pink blend, just the medium and the dark, just to give her a top because, you know, she needs a top. This might have been nicer on her cheeks as well. This puts on her lips. And just, oh, it's really nice. And like that. And back to the medium. So it is, it's, it's honestly, this is like alcohol pens for, I was going to say idiots, but it's not. It's just easy. <laughs> alcohol pens for Emma. A little bit of this on our lips. Actually, we'll just cover our lips, so whatever. She needs pink lips. And then I'm going to bring in the file, the one that we made tonight that went completely right. And we're going to have her there. Chop this butterfly in half. I absolutely love this butterfly. Honestly, love it so much. So that will go there. I'm not going to have it all sticking up. Like, you know how I normally make it 3D and everything. I just want it. I'm going to move her up into the middle, actually. And then I have loads of other stuff all over the place. This one. This is what's going to leave all of this inside the infirmary. So we've got the butterflies from the beautiful nature kit. Her, the big butterfly. Then we've got this orange flower, which I've already coloured in with the alcohol markers and this butterfly that I did. There's a video actually of this as well, which I'll pop up. But this is what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to get in large letters, eventually, saying infirmary. There we go, see? It's like that incident never happened with that binding thing. And I'm not putting them on the website. So I'll find these ones on Amazon and I'll pop a link up again. And the files I've got inside are Dawn Bibby. And she had them on offer not long back. Oh, let's glue these down. It's a dye files, I think, but I didn't get the magnetic sheets. I just got the actual plastic. And I, they were cheap as chips. You got three in a pack. I think it was like seven quid when I got them. Oh, I have her there. We'll glue this flower. How nice is that flower, though? It could be a poppy. It could be any. You could easily cut the um, these bits out the top. And it could be a whatever flower you like it to be. So that can go there. And this could actually, you know what? This could actually be a card. It doesn't have to be on the front of a file. And then I need to go in. Is this going to work? Well, it's yellow. If I put that in the eyes, she's going to look jaundice, isn't she? We'll try here first. Is it going to work? Just some little highlights on her nose. One up the middle. And we'll see. We'll see. There we go, Cam. And I'm just going to reinforce these little dots in her eyes. And then here, we... You know where you don't want your eyes to be yellow on our lip. And then you can easily go in and add some skinny highlights to our hair. If your pen will work. Thank you so much for bearing with me tonight. Lesson learned once again to be prepared. Test what you're going to do. No, I really want to check those because it's absolutely pointless putting them on. If I can't even get them to work. But I am going to send them back. Because that is ridiculous. There we go. I don't care if it's user error. I'm spitting the dummy out and sending them back. I think I do need a machine for them. But you know. There we go. This though. Well impressed with. But that's it. I'm going to go and hide under a rock for a bit. No, I'm not. I will see you Sunday at 8pm and hopefully, I'm hoping against everything that we've got something brand new. Fingers crossed. But, you know, we'll see. It won't be 
file folders, but at least I've got one now that I can put all my stuff in. Thank you so, so much. This kit is the Girls and Flowers, Dominique. I think it was one of the first kits, if not the first kit that I brought out when I got the website. But yes, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm going to go and fight with this file a bit more to find out if it's just user error. And please like and share and all that jazz. And I will see you on Sunday at 8pm. Have a lovely weekend. Bye-bye.